see the coding. The callout unit dot make rest callout fails with a you have uncommitted work pending. Please commit or roll back before calling out error. What should be done to address the problem? Now see the options. Option A, B, and C. And option D. Correct answer is option C. Next question is a visual force page contains an industry select list and displays a table of accounts that have a matching value in their industry field. When a user changes the value in the industry select list, the table of accounts should be automatically updated to show the accounts associated with the selected industry. What is the optimal way to implement this? Now see the options, option A, B, C and D. Correct answer is option C. Next question. The test method above calls a wave service that updates an external system with account information and sets the account integration updated underscore C checkbox to true when it completes. The test fails to execute and exits with an error. Methods defined as test method do not support wave service callouts. What is the optimal way to fix this? Now see the options, option A, option B, option C and option D. And the correct answer is option C. Next question is, a developer created and tested a visual force page in their developer sandbox but now receives reports that users are encountering view state errors when using it in production. What should the developer ensure to correct these errors? Option A. Ensure queries do not exceed governor limits. Option B. Ensure properties are marked as transient. Option C. Ensure properties are marred as private. Option D. Ensure profiles have access to the visual force page. Correct answer is option B. Next question. Refer to the component code above. The information displays as expected in three rows on a mobile device. However, the information is not displaying or desired in a single row on a desktop or tablet. Which option has the correct component changes to display correctly on desktop and tablets? See the options, option A and option B. Option C and Option D. Correct answer is Option D. Next question is, 
A company support process dictates that any time a case is closed with a status of cloud not fix, an engineering review custom object record should be created and populated with information from the case, the contact and any of the products associated with the case. What is the correct way to automate this using an Apex trigger? Option A, an after update trigger that creates the engineering review record and inserts it. Option B, a before update trigger that creates the engineering review record and insert it. Option C, an after up absurd trigger that creates the engineering review record and insert it. Option D, a before absurd trigger that creates the engineering review record and insert it. Correct answer is option A, 